Okay, good morning. <clears throat> um, I um, did a video yesterday about how to be a user of the FairShares model um, and how you can join FairShares model enterprise on Lumio. Today, I want to look at it from an administrator's point of view. So what I'm going to do is apply the FairShares model to the Lumio site of the FairShares Association. So the FairShares Association started using Lumio about six months ago. Um, but we haven't sort of organized ourselves uh, in exactly the same way um, as the Fair Shares model enterprise. Nevertheless, Fair Shares Association does use a Fair Shares constitution, so uh, I'm going to start setting it up. Before I started this video, over here, I um, copied and pasted all of the text um, that describes the different groups, uh, and I will use this, I will cut and paste this into Lumio in a moment. So the first thing is I am an administrator or I'm a coordinator of the Fair Shares Association group. So I have the power to create subgroups. So the first thing I'll do, let's create a subgroup. This is the subgroup for the founders. I can go to my text over here. Let's find the, the bit on, whoops. Where's the text for founders? Have I missed it out? No, there it is. So I'll just highlight that. Copy it. And paste it in here. Uh, I want the first bit to be a title, so I put a hash in front of it. I will want the second paragraph to be in bold, so I put double sports around it, and then the rest is like that. So for each group in Lumio, you have to say what the privacy settings are. So um, it's appropriate for the founders that uh, it's members only, it's invitation only, and that only members can see the discussions. What can the founders of this group do? They can't invite uh, new members because once the founders are set, there are no more founders. Um, there aren't so many that we'll need to create subgroups. So we'll allow them to start discussions, edit the context of a discussion, edit their comments, raise proposals and vote on proposals. Okay. So that creates the subgroup. Then the next thing I need to do is I need to invite uh, the founders into this group. Now for that, um, I need to go to the membership system of the Fair Shares Association. Um, in uh, Fair Shares, we use uh, WordPress with a plugin called Member Find Me. I can go to my members. I can search for founder members and then when I've done that I can export the email address. You'll have to do this in whatever system you've got, whatever, however you get lots of email addresses, um, you'll have to do it in your own way. So I've exported those email addresses. Here they are. Let me cut and paste them. So if I go back to here, I can now invite people. Um, and add members from Fair Shares Association. That's interesting. Oh, of course, they're already here. Um, so let's see. We want Cliff, we want myself, and the others aren't there. So let me take out myself, take out Cliff, and the others will now get an invite.
So dear fans, here is your invitation to join the fans group of the Fair Shares Association from Union. Okay. And away, go and invite them. So they've now received invitations, or they will, by email. Um, and then after that, uh, we hope they'll come back. So that's one. If I want to change things here, so for example, if I want to edit the description here, I can just click the tool that's right next to it, and then I can change it again. I should just go back. And I can do that for each group. The options enable me to uh, edit the group setting, manage the members. So if, the, if I want to, somebody wants to cancel their membership of this group, I can do that. If I want to leave the group myself, I can do that. Sometimes you want to deactivate a group. So in a fair shares um, enterprise, if all of the founders decide they don't need their founders group anymore, you can deactivate the group and it's just run by the users, labor and directors. Okay. Right. So let's uh, go back to the Fair Shares Association again. Uh, we recently issued invitations to quite a few people to become uh, the Labour members. So let me create a subgroup. I'll call this Labour members. And I'm going to, once again, I shall find my text here. Highlight it. Put it over here again. Similarly, make the first one a title. Make the next paragraph bold. And then just make sure the paragraphing is a bit more sensible. Okay. So the privacy here. Um, Let's see, let's say that people in the Fair Shares Association can, can, it's visible to them. People can request, they can. You can apply to become a Labour member of the Fair Shares Association if you're producing IP for the Fair Shares Association. Um, and let's let anyone in the Fair Shares Association see the discussions as well. Okay. Now, should Labour members be able to invite and approve more members? I'll say yes. I think they'll want to create subgroups, start discussions, and do all of the rest. So let's now create that subgroup. OK, so once again, I'll need to invite people. So I go back to my um, members and whoops this time i shall search for labor members and then export email addresses download on labor. so a slightly longer list down. And now let's invite them again. I'll not worry if they're on the right hand side or not. I'm just going to put them all in. So they have to be separated by commas. I don't know if we did that last time. So, um, 